Hey guys, I am here to talk to you today about a super fun project that I worked on and as the video title says, I was on a reality TV show. So reality TV uh, isn't exactly right. Uh, I was on basically, if you guys have ever done an escape room, I was on a show on Go90 which is available on iOS and Android but it is also now available on web, which I will link in the description below. So a lot of people said I couldn't download the app or whatever, but now you can watch directly from the computer. So if you're watching this now or on your phone, you can download the app, or if you're on a computer, just click the link below and you can watch the entire series. Um, so I filmed a really fun project for Go90, and it was with Strawberry17, it was with Mindplex Official or Parker Games, it was with uh, Mr. Leo Zombie, and then myself, and we basically did a video game themed escape room. If you guys haven't seen either the adventure room itself or you haven't seen the behind the scenes stuff on my vlog channel, make sure that you check those out if you're interested in, in what it is. Um, but today, I wanted to talk about the awesome behind the scenes things that you may not know happened. So if you haven't checked it out and you wanna get a little of the behind the scenes info or if you have seen it and you wanna just know cool extra stuff about the show that we didn't get to show you, uh, make sure you stay tuned in this video to find out all of the cool stuff that happened behind the scenes. Now, that being said, I'm gonna go through 12 because there are 12 episodes of the show and also the last episode just aired last week. So if you like binge watching things, this is the perfect thing for you guys to do, to go binge watch the show and tell us what you think. Uh, I will talk a little bit more. There is a potential that we could do an adventure room too, um, but we need your help. If you want us to do that, they need to get your feedback and they need to know that people loved it. So if you want us to do a number two, uh, make sure that you follow the instructions at the end of this video and make sure that you help us because I would love to do it. It was an amazing, amazing project and I had so much fun. So that being said, let's jump into the 12 facts about the behind the scenes of the adventure room, the reality TV show that I did for Go90. Number one, the intro to Adventure Room, the part where we walk up to the storage looking container thing and type in the code to get in the Adventure Room was actually shot last. Much like most movies, we did not shoot that particular part in chronological order. The Adventure Room itself was filmed in order. We went through the game from start to finish. That was done all in order, but the end parts and the detail shots were all shot later. Uh, and there's a part where we enter into this room it's basically like a big semi storage container and when they shut the door they actually shut us into the container and it was pitch dark which was scary and interesting we were only in there for like 30 seconds but it's actually very dark in one of those number two the room had hidden cameras in there they you can't see them in in any of the videos if you look really closely the corners of the room are black. So it's basically the box is four screens on either side and uh, there's no ceiling. So you didn't see that in what what you could see in your perspectives. What you do see are the overhead room, like views sometimes, which were GoPros that were mounted on the top of the screens. Um, and then you see us in the room, but there's also in two of the corners in the front part of the screen opposite the big map on the other side of the wall there were two camera guys with their cameras like hidden in the corner of the room which was pretty interesting and we forgot that they were there until we would cut at certain points and then you'd kind of like see the light flicker and you'd see like the guy moved around so there are hidden cameras in the corner of the room and see if you can see those in any of the episodes number three there is a part that we shot that never made it into the show. So originally in the storyline, we were supposed to go into the storage container and they filmed the sequence of all of us kind of waking up where we're like on the floor and you actually, uh, in one of the behind the scenes footage, you see me uh, like showing them, uh, showing us sleeping when there was like a camera guy doing the close up shots of us doing that. And we, that never made it. I don't know why they opted to cut that, but it was actually really funny because uh, one of us who I won't name, um, they were giving us directions like, okay, now you wake up, now you wake up, now you wake up. And so one of us kind of gets up and, uh, 
and and just gets up and that person didn't realize that they were supposed to like look around and then interact they thought that you just woke up and then they were going to cut it so they said no, no no you have to go back and redo it again and you need to wake up and say you know oh where are we so this person wakes up and then dramatically turns to the camera like this and goes the f is this <laughs> like we all lost it because it's not safe for airing uh and therefore i think that's probably the reason why they cut out of the show but it was definitely something that we snuck into filming uh, other parts and there were many takes where they had to cut it out because they would do close-ups of us and then a random person in the cast would go like the f is this and then they would cut it out Number four, if you look at the very beginning of the episode uh, and back at our Instagrams and in any of the episodes, you notice that we don't have shoes on and we touch on it very briefly in the first episode where like we land and we're like, oh, what are these things on our hands? And oh my God, where are our shoes? Uh, they actually had us wear socks because during the construction of the room, they noticed that the people, because it was in a warehouse, the room, uh, as, I got, as I showed you guys, the room was was basically in a warehouse where it was a warehouse it was like dirty and the floors are white and the screens are white and so as they were constructing and putting things in the room they noticed that the workers shoes were getting the floors very dirty and you could tell in the progression of the show if the sh floor was gonna get dirtier and so the solution was we're just gonna make them wear socks so that the floor stays clean so if we have to go back and reshoot anything we don't have to worry about people noticing that the floor is either cleaner or dirtier in certain shots. So that was the solution. We all had to wear these crazy socks because they didn't want us to be barefoot because of, you know, the floor and the tape and whatever, but uh, we couldn't wear shoes because the floor was so white that you could tell when it got dirty. Number five. After the show wrapped up, we actually had the option to keep some of the props from the show. And I did disclose it in one of the videos uh, that I did behind the scenes that's on my vlogging channel, but I got to keep the letter that I decoded that's signed by all of the cast members, the production, the cast, the crew, everybody. There's Parker's signature. There's Megan's, I think. Uh, yeah, sound guy, signed it sound. So I actually have this, this was my handwriting. I got to decode the letter and because this was such a major turning point for the game, I was like, oh, I definitely want this 100%. So I got to keep the letter. The plan is for me to get it framed um, and frame it next to a picture of the crew because I'm. it was one of the best experiences ever. So I'm really happy that they let me keep this memento and other cast members got to keep other things from the show that got signed as well. Number six, uh, while the game is partially automatically triggered, so um, there's a part where we're steering a boat, there is a part where we're touching torches on a wall, and there is another part uh, where it's kind of like a connect game where there's like rocks crumbling. Um, all of those different parts were automatically triggered. There were sensors in the room or there, there was like a Wii type, I don't know how they did it, it was like a Wii type thing that automatically triggered those different responses in the room. However, there were some parts that we didn't know that were actually a person controlling them behind the scenes. One of the major parts is you'll see a lot where we have this like crossbow type gun nerf thing uh, and we thought that I don't know technology that like oh it just must be in the sensor with the like the Wii thing that it might just shoot it but that part was actually triggered someone manually so they were watching in the live feed of like the GoPros and the camera guy of when we were shooting and there was someone actually behind the scenes determining whether or not we had that that ghost shot down and so certain parts where we didn't get the ghost shot or we did uh, was all triggered manually by a person behind the scenes number seven this is a flashback a little bit none of us uh, had actually ever worked together during the production of the show so before we started the production megan leo parker and myself had never actually filmed something together all as a group I like I'd met Parker I'd met Megan briefly I'd never met Leo so we walked into this not 
already being a group of friends, which we thought was going to be very difficult because we were going to be like trapped in this room together. We were going to be doing all this stuff together and none of us really knew each other that well. And they got us together for a trial uh, the day before we started shooting. So we had to go in the vlog I talked about, we had to go the night before and do a test. And what they were doing is testing to see which one of us kind of stood out as a leader, what people's roles were. And so they gave us a Jenga puzzle and they said, here. And they didn't tell us what they wanted us to do with it. They didn't tell us what we were supposed to accomplish. They just gave us a Jenga thing and they were like, here you go. And we had to figure out what they wanted us to do with it as a group. And they were basically, it was like a team building thing. And it was also to see if we kind of fell within the roles that they thought we would fall in in shooting the show. And so it was a very interesting experience and I didn't know until later that they said when we were planning on how this would line out, we had in our minds how fast we thought you guys would do it. We had in our minds what roles we thought people would take and that's how they built the show. So they actually built the show and the game around the four of us and our personalities, which is really cool. Number eight. Uh, in the show, we also talk about getting stir crazy in the room, and that is actually not an exaggeration. I know a lot of times in reality TV show, people are told, oh, act like you're tired or act like you're mad at this thing. Uh, the reactions that we had in the show were completely genuine. We were actually at one point trapped in the room for like six hours and we hadn't gone out. It's absolute chaos. Everyone focus and we were actually getting stir crazy. We were tired, it had been a long day. We had had taken a break at one point and then gone back into the room and had to finish for production schedules a certain point in filming. And so we were in the room for like a solid six hours and not get got to leave. So when you see parts of us getting stir crazy and like frustrated and done, we were actually stir crazy, frustrated <laughs> and done. Um, it took a long, long time to film the show and so uh, those are genuine reactions from us number nine the interviews that you see in the show all took place after filming was done so in the very last day of filming we came back they were called certain parts of the show and that's when we had to give our feedback on what we wanted we weren't coached on what to say they didn't have specific things they wanted us to say uh, they just would ask us a question and the responses that you see in that are genuine um, they were not things that we were told uh, and so that is also genuine we got a question we answered it and I think we did pretty well, and can we talk about how fabulous we all look in HD, am I right? Number 10, we actually had to do everything two times. Um, and the reason for that being that we had to do everything, we shot the show pretty much in one straight shot where we were completing from start to finish the game. And when we were doing that, uh, you know, we had breaks in between to like go to the bathroom or whatever because it was very, long and filming um but when we were shooting the show we actually had a camera guy in the room with us but you never see the camera guy in any of the shots that we have so there's close-ups of us in the room you can see close-ups of our hand you can see us filming certain things and even though we had the four overhead cameras we had the two cameras on the side we actually had a full-time cameraman in the room with us as we were filming but they didn't want to take away from that from the experience of knowing that there was a like fifth mystery camera dude in the room and so we then had to refilm certain parts of the show so that when they were doing an overhead angle or they wanted to see us solving something overhead we had to take the camera guy out of the room. So when you see those overhead shots, some of those are actually re-filmed if they couldn't remove the camera guy or they couldn't crop him out. Um, so some of the things we actually ended up having to shoot two times or uh, if there were certain shots like of our hands touching things, those were all shot in post. Those weren't done as it was like actually happening. Number 11. While there's 12 episodes that are between 10 and 11, 12 minutes each, um, that would only give you about two and a half hours of filming, but we actually spent in the room somewhere between 15, for my best guess, it was somewhere between 
15 and 20 actual hours filming in the room. So there was tons of stuff that got cut out, tons of stuff you didn't see. It was a very condensed version of what that was. I remember being frustrated actually going back and watching because there was a part that, I think it was when we were solving this letter, where they make it seem like we just solved it right away. And it actually took us probably a good 35 minutes to like decode this whole thing and solve it. So what you guys see in the very brief condensed version makes it look a lot easier than it actually was when we were in the show. So keep in mind when you're watching it, you're watching something that gives you two and a half hours of content, but actually took us even up to 10 times longer than that to actually film everything that happened in the room. It was a very long adventure room. I think they said if the average person had done it from start to finish without stopping, um, without like we had breaks and whatever, it would be like an eight hour adventure room if you didn't leave. So even with us having to take twice as long because of like mechanical errors or having to switch out film and the tapes or whatever, um, it actually still took us eight hours to complete it from start to finish. So you're getting a very, very condensed version of what happened. Number 12. Uh, I'm gonna not spoil it, uh, but at the end, uh, there is a part where we, uh, we walk out and we <laughs> are told to destroy the prop. They basically like take it out, take this thing out and destroy it. And we uh, jokingly, uh, Megan grabbed the prop as we were walking out and she walked out of the room and it's like white and smoke and there's all this stuff. And she took the prop and like spiked it on the ground. And this prop was made of a bunch of individual pieces that we had to put together like a puzzle and they were like magnetic. And the prop team had done a serious job of putting this together. And I guess in Megan's mind, she thought that she was gonna spike it and the pieces were just gonna fall apart. But she actually spiked it and it broke. Like a, like pieces of it came off and broke and we hadn't just stopped filming yet. So we had to leave it and come back the next day and the poor prop department had to <laughs> glue it all back together because Megan spiked it off the ground and broke it. What? Oh, Megan. All right, guys. So that covers it. 12 facts, 12 things that uh, I learned and things that you should know about behind the scenes of filming the reality TV show that I did for Go90 called The Adventure Room. Now, I said earlier in the beginning that they left it open. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to encourage you to go watch the last episode uh, because it did just release. But they left it open and there's a potential mm, that we could come back and film the second one. But we need your help. They, you know, as any company, doesn't want to, you know, do another one unless they know that you guys want to see it. So I am personally asking for your help. If you want to see us film another adventure room, make sure that you go to Go90 either in the website or the app on iOS or Android. I'm going to link all that below in the description. Make sure you go there, leave a comment on the last video saying, hey, we want more or even better, you can tweet to Go90 at, at Go90, use hashtag adventure room and tell them that you want more. And if they get enough replies, then they will tell us that we can do another one. So I'm super excited. I would love to do it. It was, like I've said a bajillion times, the funnest project I've ever done. I loved it. I, I would do it again in a second. Go90 was great to work with. I love Megan and Parker and Leo and now we are great friends and we talk all the time. So I would love to do another one. If you guys want to do it, I'm down for it. I know that the other cast members are down for it, but Go90 needs to hear from you. So tweet at Go90, hashtag Adventure Room, tell them you want more, or go comment on the last episode that you freaking loved it and it's amazing, because it is, uh, and we could potentially do another one. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you maybe in an Adventure Room soon. Bye! <laughs>